Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. So today, we are going to be hardening our little tool here. Or attempting to harden it in Super Quench. So this is nothing more than a block. Essentially just a radius block to sit in the anvil that we made out of mild steel. So, I'm still experimenting around with Super Quench. Uh, in the meantime, and trying to see how well it works and makes tools hold up. And so since I've got some other projects coming up that I'm going to be using this particular block in the anvil for, uh, it's a good chance to see how well it holds up compared to mild steel. Now I already know how mild steel holds up pretty well. Uh, as long as you bring out stuff really hot and work it on it and you don't work it too cold on the mild steel, uh, it holds up just fine. So the real big difference is that some of the stuff that I'm going to be using and cleaning up cold uh, will be cleaned up cold on this block. Well, regular mild steel won't ha handle that as well as like a 1045 or a 1030 series or something of that nature in high carbon steel. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to go ahead and heat this up, we're going to super quench it, and then be expecting to see this in future videos. So let me get this thing hot and then we'll go in for the quench here. Okay, so I've got this piece about up to Tim. Now, in one of my super quench videos when I did a bunch of testing, which is not scientific testing, and I don't care to take and test this stuff out scientifically, if somebody wants to spend a bunch of money to uh, invest into a scientific method that's better than mine to test out super quench, you're more than welcome to it. Uh, but one of the things that I got harassed quite a bit in one of my super quench videos about, I'll put the links in the cards right here, and I will also put a link to the videos at the end of this video. But one of the things that came up was that I did not heat up the mild steel up to a critical temperature or what would be considered a critical temperature of non-magnetic and so I'm going to do that with this block and we'll see if we have any sort of different results um, and then we are going to quench it and the super quench uh, if you want to know how to make the super quench I also got a video on that uh, that was one of the other things that it came up that I used the wrong wetting agent it's supposed to be Shockley number one uh, I could not find Shockley number one at the time, and when I looked it up, I'm just not interested in having to go out and buy it. So what I used was Simple Green instead, which was another approved formula that I heard that you could use. Uh, if you're going to make this type of stuff and invest the money into experimenting, it was a right around 30 bucks, I think. And so it may be a big waste of time trying to do this. But again, it's a mild steel tool. You can do what you like with it, test it out, see how it works for yourself. So here we go. Bring this out and we'll check it. Okay, non-magnetic. And here we go. The quench. Now one thing I've noticed on this, whenever I've quenched it in this super quench stuff, is the fact that it seems to build up this little almost like frosty level of salt that gets put on it. And so I don't know if that's protecting the steel from something or if it actually does get hard with that on there. I would think the more it's exposed to the actual moisture or water or the wetting stuff, it would be better. Like I said, I'm not an expert on this. We're just giving it a go and we're going to see how it goes. I'm a big fan of not taking somebody's word on it and just trying it out for yourself. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. If somebody doesn't think it works, they can try it themselves or not try it themselves. Uh, that's just kind of how that works. And, you know, depending on how you feel about that, that's... Uh, you know, once again, it's all up to you. Now I'm seeing quite a bit of gray here, not just the salt, uh, almost like that martensite forming, like when you do harden actual tool steel. Uh, it is getting that kind of that grayish color to it. Like I said, I don't know if that's the salt. I think it's just the salt brine maybe. But we'll see how it goes. 
you know, I'll let you guys know. Like I said, be on the lookout for more videos on this topic. But I just wanted to show you this little step because I'm bound to be asked, what did you make your little radius block for your anvil out of? What type of material? And it's just 1018 uh, mild steel, but it is a 10 series. And although it may not have enough carbon to get up into the 50s or 60 Rockwells, I had another guy comment to say that it could get as hard as 40 Rockwell C uh, on the C scale. And that's plenty hard enough. You're bringing out hot material and working on this. We're going to see how it holds up to we're going to see how it holds up to cold material being worked on it or working down in it and if there's any sort of deformation. But make sure to check out for other videos on that in the future. So thank you all for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Like I always say, God bless you, and we will catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.